Hi guys, this is Maggie from Magnificent Tarot, and I am back to do your January 2019 love reading. This is going to be for the sign of Aquarius. Hey Aquarius, ooh, caring connections. Um, this is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury, Jupiter, and North Node. This is your soulmate reading. Um, let's see what spirit wants to... What messages spirit wants to convey to you today um, this is a general reading so it may not resonate with everybody please take what resonates with you you know the drill the energies are reversible i may be picking up more of your cross watchers energy vice versa i'm um, again take what resonates and leave what does it okay don't force the reading to fit your situation okay because i may not be um connecting to your to your uh energy um or i may be connecting to a specific collective of Aquarius, okay, at this time. I'm going to start off with um, a energy oracle read spread. We'll clarify. I pull a oracle message and I will build up on uh, upon the message with my other decks, okay, for you guys. So those two cards want to come out. So we have anxiety in reverse all tied up in the present position. Let's see what we have in the future position. One more card. Thank you. And we have goddess of the moon. Wow. Bottom of the deck energy, we have the um, first chakra. So there is a... When the first chakra is upside down, it's blocked. This is talking about... Um, fear, your it's about stability and security and safety. You don't feel safe. Um, if something doesn't feel like home, King of Pentacles reverse. Yes, your stability is causing there's a, a an issue with stability, and this is emotional stability shifts didn't come in. I feel some financial um, issues are being affected by your emotional state. I mean, your emotional state is causing financial issues because you're not able to be on top of your game. Let's see what the challenge is really quick before I start the, the, the read. What's the challenge for January 2019? I already pre-shuffled, by the way, before I started this video for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury, Jupiter, and North Node. All right. So the message is strength the, or the challenge. Um, this could work in your favor, of course. This is a good card to get, but this is talking about what the challenges is for you to um, forgive. This is to find your inner strength. Um, this is to get those emotions in control. You are in control. Um, you are able to tame that beast within, that beast of fear, anxiety, worry. Um, it's time for you to find your power. The strength card, um, that, that orangey yellow is the solar plexus. That is the seat of your power. That is where your confidence, the ego, the willpower um, comes from. And it is time for you to go within and find your inner strength to get through this difficult period. Um, and I feel like this is about your... You're feeling tied up because of extreme fear. So the strength card is here to let you know that you can overcome these fears. Um, yeah, and you can progress. You can get yourself unstuck. Um, anxiety is none nine. It's like the nine of swords energy. The all tied up card is like a, a 23, which reduces to a five. It's like the eight of swords and the hangman mixed in. Um, and we have the goddess of the moon, which is like the moon card. It's a seven. It's about, oh, ooh, releasing this devil energy. Um, yeah, there's a need to release, um, yourself from this self-imposed prison um six of cups and nostalgia there's a soulmate here that's on your mind that's causing you to feel out of whack <laughs> there's a, a focus on the past it's not negative but there is a focus on the past and i feel like there, there's you're wanting to reconcile with somebody you're wanting to make things right you're wanting to bring in harmony and balance um, into a situation. So let's go ahead and break down the past energy of anxiety. And I really feel like I'm going to put this in between these two cards, the devil in reverse, because this is about the anxiety card in reverse is good. This is about you ending the ending of worry, stress in the past, you know, um, feeling overwhelmed, um, feeling anxious. So I see that there was some sort of blow your confidence um, and a cycle 
um, you feel stuck, you feel stuck, or you felt stuck rather, because I am talking about the past. You felt stuck in the past. Something happened. Something was halted. Um, you may be dealing with a Leo, Sag, or Aries, specifically Leo. Um, you may, may have dealt with a, a fixed sign, Aquarius, Leo, um, Taurus. I'm missing one. I can't think of the other one right now. Um, what I'm getting, what I'm picking up from these two cards, she's looking away from the will of fortune. So that means you, there is a extreme focus on the past. And because you're stuck in the past, you're, the will can't spin. You're, you're preventing a cycle from closing. It's like there's needing a, a need to close out a cycle with someone, um, but it can't close because there's an extreme focus on it. Because this there is some type sort of wish that you had um, to heal something from the past. This could just be you needing to heal from past traumas, okay? Because we have the Six of Cups here at the bottom of the deck. And the strength card is your challenge, needing to find the inner strength to let something close, to let a cycle close here. Clarify the will of fortune. Um, damn. Clarifying the will of fortune, again, is the devil in reverse. Yeah, needing to release. That's two times. Needing to release the past, needing to release whatever it is because it's keeping you stuck. The will is not moving in your favor right now. You're not happy. You're not fulfilled. You're. De de I mean, this is a complete ending of something. We have Ten of Cups and the, um, Ten of Swords. It's an ending. Needing to release. Something ended, obviously, in the past, but there is still a fixation on this end. I feel... There's a, 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 a need to release fear. Fears were in this, whatever this was, is causing you to feel an extreme lack of confidence. Uh, it, it's causing you to feel unworthy. You're not listening to your intuition. You are completely, uh, this is past. You are completely stuck. And the devil came out twice in the reverse. And I always look at that as the polar opposite of in the upright. This is about releasing, being stuck, being tied, and then in the reverse is unsticking yourself or untying yourself. But what I'm feeling is that these are just fears and negative energy still tied to the situation. But there is a ray of hope here. We have a star in the upright here because the anxiety card is reversed. In the reverse, the anxiety card is about releasing anxiety, releasing fears, what is it? And that's the eight. That's eighteen. <clears throat> so in the reverse, the anxiety card is about finally release. This nightmare of a card reverse can mean one or two things: either a recent problem is on its way out, causing you to feel more relaxed, or you have mastered the old habit of worry and have freed yourself from the anxiety within. Either way, anxiety reverse is a good omen of more relaxed and peaceful times to come. Maintain a trusting attitude and let the difficulties and fears. Fear thoughts fade away into the distance. So yeah, you did release the fear in the past. So there was some healing that came in. Because you were extremely stuck on an ending, on something that you wanted that didn't, didn't come into fruition, right? This a bliss, this happiness, but you realized that you couldn't be you couldn't no longer allow yourself to be stuck in this energy of feeling betrayed by it. So you decided to release it. And that's why the devil came out twice. Okay? Good. Yeah, that's why the devil card came out twice. So that's past energy. And this um you could have been dealing with this is you, Aquarius. You could have been dealing with a Capricorn. Leo, Virgo, Scorpio, 
or any fixed sign. Why can't I think of the fixed signs off the top of my head? Hold on, you guys. It's going to bother me. Don't judge me. What, which did I say? Aquarius, Leo, Taurus. What's the other one? What is the other one? Someone left me a comment um, on one of my videos. Y'all, this shit is going to bother me. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. <laughs> Y'all know <laughs> it's going to bother the hell out of me. Let me keep going, but I'm going to... Um, if I don't remember, my son used to be like, I rememberized it. He used to put two words together. It was so cute. If I don't rememberize what this thing is, it's going to bother me. Um, What was I saying? Oh, so yeah, you had to release it. So you could have been dealing with a fixed sign. Someone who was a fixed sign. Um, Any of the fixed signs. But I, I rem I'm going to rememberize it. No, 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 no. Stop, stop. Okay, sorry, you guys. I'm trying to look it up on my phone. So let's move on to all tied up. So nine of pentacles came out and this is about being alone, choosing to be single, choosing to be by yourself. Um, and this is only out of fear <laughs> because you're afraid. Like if I get in a relationship, it's going to happen again. It's going to happen again. I'm going to get hurt. I'm scared. Right. And and it is a form of self-preservation, right? Protecting yourself from getting hurt. Damn it. <laughs> the devil. But that is also you kind of reverting back. You released it. And now in the present, it's like, oh, God, I'm stuck again. All tied up. You got stuck again. Something triggered this. If I don't remember this whole ass, these fixed signs is okay. Like, y'all, don't judge me. I could feel y'all judging me, Virgo. Is it Virgo? Is Virgo a fixed sign? I don't know. So, anyways, no, this one flipped over. Three of Cups. Oh, it was triggered because there might be. More than one person involved in this situation now. You may be doing a lot of drinking too, um, which you want to stay away from. The drinking, the overindulgence, but I feel like what this is, what triggered it was a reunion. So, whoever was the one to cause this pain in the past. You thought you were good. You were like, yeah, I'm over it. I'm healed. I'm good. I'm by myself. I'm doing good. I'm looking good. And then, then you run into this person or this person reaches out to you saying, hey, remember me? <laughs> hey there, it's me. I'm back. Uh, remember all the good times we had? Six of Cups. Remember how good we were with each other? Remember how good we looked together? So this person comes back and opens up the wound, forces it open, and now they're pouring a little, they're pouring salt in it. Like, yeah, it was so great between us. We were in love. Can you imagine? Oh, yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> what am I saying? Like, yeah, I know. I've been there, done that. Um. So this person comes back and they reopen the wound, and now you're stuck again. Now you're stuck in this devil energy. This re with this reunion in the present. And this could be the recent, we still could be in the recent past. Because I feel like the past is like whatever you were doing in the past, right? 2018 and beyond that, or prior to that, rather. And now in the present, that the reunion of this person, it doesn't, I mean, it just could be recent. Like I recently talked to this person, or recent can be December. 
November. Um, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Scorpio. You guys, I suck. I'm sorry. And Virgo is the astrological placement for the um, Wheel of Fortune. Um, but the fixed signs are Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm retarded. Don't judge me. <laughs> okay, so... So whatever this reunion was, whatever this was, you met this, saw this person at a party, work event, whatever, whatever it was, however you saw this person, it brought back the old memories and then now you're stuck again. You were single, looking good, feeling good. And you're like, yeah, I'm by myself. Being by myself is, is better because I don't have, I don't have to go through the being, um, afraid, you know, avoiding um, a connections or tr real love or real deep connections. You know, I'm not saying you don't date. I'm saying that you're avoiding real deep connections because you don't want to feel the anxiety of having to worry about, is this person going to hurt me? Is this person going to break my heart again? Like the other person did. Right. Um, but you're stuck now because there was a reunion. Um, and it's a five 23 reduces to a five. And this is about, you're, something's going to change here. So something has to change. Clarify the three. Okay, let me get it together. Clarify the three of cups. Or you could be doing this to whoever. And we have the seven of pentacles. Now there is a lot of... Oh, God, I hate when I draw card, cards, you guys. Hold on. Oh, gosh. Okay. <sighs> stop stop texting me people are texting me like let me know <laughs> all right <clears throat> so now you're assessing you're contemplating you're thinking you're like oh my god like oh should i should i take this person back like you know back then or this could be someone new that you meet that you feel like oh this person makes me happy but then you you get stuck because you're like, well, this person makes me happy and I'm scared because if I if I let them in, they're going to do me like the other person did. So it doesn't have to be a reunion. It could be a new, completely new person. But this person is reminding you about what's want, what once made you happy, but that, that didn't work out. So now you're thinking and you're like, oh, should I invest here? Should I should I invest here? Or you may have been dating this person and now you're getting to a point where it's getting serious and you're like thinking about, should I keep investing? Because if I keep investing, if I let it get real serious, if I let it go there, it's going to, it's going to fail. Okay. This is your mind playing tricks on you. Okay. Um, yeah, because there's a lack of confidence with the king of wands, you, you know, the confidence is key. So now you're now, now you're not taking any action. Now you're stuck with the chariot all tied up. Why am I dizzy? I'm so dizzy right now. Somebody's getting dizzy spells because they're 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 drinking themselves into oblivion. Nine of Cups, coping negatively. But I do see someone wanting to come in and un someone made an offer to you, and that's why you're scared. It's time that you release yourself from the suspension, um, because you feel like just because you're you're suspending yourself and you're you're preventing anything really happening, you feel like that's working in your favor, but it's not. It's keeping you tied. So it's a perfect card to, to clarify all tied up. It's in the reverse. So this is about needing to cut yourself out of that off from um cut yourself um out of the tree, right? And you're falling down because you're you're being you're illuminated. Like you see things, you should be seeing things clearly by now. Because we got clarity. You're really, really realizing that there is something good here. There is something that is positively good here that makes you happy. You want to offer or you want to receive an offer, but you're scared. Now it's like the only thing you know, the only way you know how to cope with this fear is by not taking any action. It's not moving. It's like you're afraid that if you move forward, you'll fuck up. You're afraid that if you don't, if you... Don't move forward, you'll fuck up. So you're stuck. You just like you don't know which way to go. You're like, if I if I 
If I stay away, it's easier. Okay? If I stay away, it's easier. But this thing, this, this, but you're so attracted to whatever this, this person, this person, this opportunity. Obviously, it's a person. I mean, this is a soulmate reading. But you're afraid of it. And then the, the sun, sometimes you can be blinded by the sun to the point where it's it's wishful thinking. You may be thinking like, oh, this is just wishful thinking. Oh, it can never be. It, it, it can never. I, I don't. I, I don't. Almost like you're saying I don't deserve it. I'm all tied up. Lack of motion or sense of personal freedom. This card shows a woman tied up with vines around her wrists, body, and arms. Receiving this card upright represents a situation in your life where things seem to be severely stuck. A major drama may be going on around you, stopping you from moving forward. Or it may be the same that some technicalities are blocking your way. Perhaps you're waiting for a contract to be signed or an, an agreement to be made. Whatever is holding things up, the restrictions may be feeling quite oppressive at this time. If this isn't technically the case for you, what's tying you up is your own personal stuff. Look at your life and see how you can be your own jailer. Are you tying yourself up in some emotional angst or in a negative habit that you refuse to deal with, fear of abandonment, <laughs> fear of abandonment. Um, if so, it's time to cut the vibes and make some serious changes. Now, remember what I said about that five? It's about needing to change. You needn't live in your self-imposed jail any longer. You don't have to be in that self-imposed jail. If you're a person that made an offer, if you're a cross watcher, or if you are the aquarium making an offer to somebody else that's severely stuck, um, You're patiently waiting. You're patiently waiting because you really see the good in this person. You really feel like this is what you've been waiting for. This person, because this person is not a bad person. This person is crippled by fear because of what happened in the past. Um, and what's happening is that they don't feel stable. They don't feel at the top of their game. They're lacking confidence because maybe they lost a lot of money due to some um, poor decisions. Um, they, they're lacking stability um, because they're needing to allow their broken heart to be healed. But what I'm getting here is there is um, some type of divine timing at play. You're being advised to be patient. The clock of destiny is right in her hand. The world of fortune is going to spin once this energy of a broken heart is, re uh, is released and the heart is allowed to heal. Okay? Because the first, the person, the, the, the whoever... This is for resonating with. You're not grounded or the person that you're waiting on is not grounded because they're very stuck. Speaking of that, let me read that. Ooh, ooh, don't fall on the floor. Let me read that from the book. 35. 35 is an eight and it's in reverse. So eights are about movement, growth, expansion, progression. And the reverse is about being stuck. Okay. So the first chakra is um, Archangel Michael, stability and security. Michael holds a beautiful globe of red energy at the first chakra, which is located at the base of the spine. And this is a place where your sense of stability and security is stored. In the reverse, this card um, means you're facing some significant challenges and even some very difficult emotions. The energy in your first chakra may be blocked, revealing potential fears about your fake safety. What did I say? You are afraid. If you let this person in, they are afraid that if they let you in here, even though they know this feels so right, that, ooh, sorry, that you're going to betray them. And what does people with fear of abandonment do? They avoid be getting connected to anyone so that they don't... Um, have to feel the, the weight of the attachment to the person because this is about being attached. It took them so long to release this attachment to something from the past that didn't work out that they're afraid of getting attached to someone new because they're afraid that if it doesn't work out that they're going to have to suffer years of being stuck to that attachment. That's what this is about. Okay. Um, they're afraid. You're afraid. And it's understandable. It is. But you cannot live in fear for the rest of your life. This is why your challenge is to face your fears. Inner strength. Gain your strength. Find your power. Tame that beast. Tame that fear. Okay? This is why this is your challenge. Because there is someone out here that is ready to love you. 
there is someone out here that wants to love you. And 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 this person really is this person, or this is you being very optimistic, or this person bring ooh, that's too many cards. This person brings some sort of light into the darkness for you. You could be dealing with a Leo, uh Capricorn, because we have strength in the sun, that's Leo energy, Pisces. Um, Aries, Virgo, and all the fixed signs, Taurus, um, Scorpio. As well. Aquarius too. Queen of Swords. Eight of Swords. I'm reading these as pairs. So it's time to cut yourself out of your self-imposed jail. Didn't I say that this card is like the Eight of Swords and the Hangman kind of in one? See how she's tied up? This is about cutting yourself out of these cords, these chains. It's release. Yeah, you've been hurt. Yeah, you've been there, done that. But you've learned from the hurt and the pain. This is the long... She's been through a lot of suffering. But because she's been through a lot, she's been... She, it, Force her to become strong. Is force her to become resilient. Release yourself from that self-imposed jail. Cut yourself out of these ropes. Okay, I'm sorry that it's not clear. Okay, and six of cups again. And this is the strength card. I love it. I love it. There's the six of cups that showed up at the bottom of the deck. Energy, reconciliation, and it's going to bring in a lot of strength. A lot of forgiveness. Somebody wants to offer you an apology or you want to offer somebody an apology. Okay. It is going to require strength. But this is the challenge here. See how she is. This person, if you are male, this person subdues you. This person calms you. This person knows how to tame those, those beasts inside of you. Okay. So this is, this is wow. It just made me feel all um, mushy or not like I want to cry, but it's, I just, you know how you feel when something touches your heart? Like I just felt that vibration of the that touched me just then. Like well, this person really touches you. This person really knows you. And when they touch you, it, you melt. It's almost like you're this lion, but as soon as this person touches you, you are so vulnerable and that scares the shit out of you. It's like that childlike innocence. See how he's, I don't, I don't know why he's giving this cup to this little girl, but see how he's giving her this cup. He's sharing his love. He's sharing. And what I'm gleaning from that is you're holding your love to yourself and it's time to share it with somebody else. Or this is someone wanting to share their love with you. Let's clarify the Six of Cups, please. Too many cards, Spirit. Too many, too many. Clarify the Six of Cups. Wow. That made me feel like so warm. Like, oh, this person just does something to me. You know? And it, it reminded me of somebody that makes me feel the same way. We all have that one person that makes us know. You know, no matter how much they hurt us or no matter how much we're hurting, there is always that one person that can just take the pain away. Even if it's for a split second. And if you can relate to that, please leave me a comment. <clears throat> I love this. Okay. So what's clarifying the six of cups is the two of pentacles. Um, finding that balance, finding that inner balance and finding that confidence. S sitting on your throne and knowing that you are worth whatever this person is trying to give you. We have the king and the queen here. Or making a decision to leave the past behind. Stop focusing on the past and not looking towards the future. She came out first. So in my, I mean, he came out, the the, the pentacles came out first, um, two of pentacles, and she's facing the future. So this is her, this is you looking to, towards the future now. This is not you stuck in the past, fixated on the past anymore. This is you now looking towards the future. It's in, it's the mirror reflection. So let's pretend that the future is this way. So you see how you're looking towards the future, even though that's the past, but it's, <laughs> it's flipping um, the energy or, or it's just the mirror image. So it's looking like it's the past, but it's actually you now looking at the future. 
Um, I said too much. <laughs> um, let me clarify the strength card now. Clarify the strength card. Two of Wands. So we have a lot of twos. So there is going to be some waiting. There is going to be a decision or a choice that needs to be made between two things, two paths, two directions. It's either you stay stuck um, thinking about the past. There is somebody that's in, from the past that your mind is on a little bit. Um, or are you going to be taking it? And then this is at the bottom. So I just pulled it. Oh, you can see. Okay, you can see me pulling it. <laughs> I didn't think y'all could see that. Are you going to be fixated on the past? Are you going to wait? Or to make this decision, or are you going to go ahead and grab the opportunity of a new beginning, a new phase? Okay. So goddess of the moon is the future potential. Let me clear the table. That's some heavy energy. It's not necessarily bad energy, but it's, it's, this fear is intense that it's really literally draining me a little bit. <clears throat> the fear is so intense. Um, it's requiring a lot of your power and a lot of your strength. I literally felt weakened a little bit. That's probably because I didn't, I didn't burn sage before your reading. I should, I don't have a mash. Um, I gotta put those matches. That's fine. Um, <clears throat> page of wands came back out. It's coming out in the reverse. I really feel like it should, wow. And the strength card again at the bottom of the deck. Um, again, this is delay. This is a lack of confidence. We're clarifying the goddess of the moon. So you need to trust your intuition first and foremost, okay? Because this is what this means in this oracle deck. It's a seven. This is about assessing. This is about awakening, a spiritual awakening. Going through that dark, the darkness um, can all lead you to the light, okay? Um, this reminds me of the moon card. It's not as it's not as intense like in the, the regular tarot, but excuse me, but it is the same energy. In the upright, intuition going within, this card shows an eternal spirit holding a bright reflective moon and standing in front of the crystal clear waters of sparkling waterfall, of a sparkling waterfall. Her arms are stretched upward, receiving the light of the moon, the light of inspiration. This card is all about intuition, the ability to receive insights from your soul's point of view. Receiving this card upright tells you that you have the power to get intuitive information of all types of issues, and now is the time to use it. The goddess of the moon brings you all sorts of information, from the mundane to the spectacular. Okay, You're always blessed with the ability to connect but this card is telling you that now is the perfect time to open up. Get ready for the amazing inspiration that it brings. It is time for you to open up. But you got to gain the confidence. And this is about communicating, too. You need to open up and, and speak your truth to somebody. Somebody is waiting to hear from you. Somebody has been patiently waiting on you, okay, Aquarius, to say something. Say something, I'm giving up on you. Is what I heard. Extreme patience. They're starting to give up on you. They're making a, a heart, head over heart decision. Or they will soon. And again, Six of Cups. They do want a reconciliation, but they're thinking about releasing themselves whoever this is this could be you watching right now thinking about releasing yourself from this connection because it's too unbearable to wait for for this new beginning but baby i'm seeing that if you wait oh baby yes if you wait there will be communication there will be some sort of expression this is a 10 this is a third chakra this is a solar plexus somebody is going to gain their strength somebody is going to gain the willpower to speak and honey when they speak, it is going to be the language of love, angel of love, a new beginning in love, the sun, a new beginning in the door to spirit, a new beginning. 
door to spirit came open. It's a spiritual awakening. Um, someone is going to get a spiritual awakening. This Aquarius or your crotch, 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 cross watcher is going to get a spiritual awakening and a door is going to open up for a new beginning. And this is going to be the sun energy. This is going to be what clarity, clarity, positivity, and this is going to bring in great joy. And this is going to bring in so much love, angel of love. So don't give up on this Aquarius. Aquarius, don't give up on the cross watcher. Be patient. Divine timing is at play. How can we prove that? Spirit, confirm that. Confirm if this is um, in regards to divine timing. Please confirm. Intuitively, that's too many cards, though. Hold on. Intuitively, this is definitely divine timing. <laughs> This person is going through a spiritual awakening. They've been through so much. They're conquering these fears. Because the strength card keeps coming up. It's coming up in the upright. So this is me feeling like, yeah, you're going to conquer these fears. You're going to conquer these fears. And you are going to reconcile. You're going to speak your truth. Yes. They're hermit. See? Spiritual awakening. So yeah, there needs to be solitude. This person needs to do the inner work. Yes. And it's a nine. And there will be an ending of that hermit mode. And at the bottom of the deck, I told you, Knight of Wands, you're going to come rushing in. Yes. You have to be patient. Let's clarify some more. The hermit, Virgo energy. Yes, the world. See? They have to end the nine in a cycle in order for a new one to begin. A lot of cards. Reunion, the, the, <laughs> the devil and the queen of wands. So there will be a reunion here. The devil, the devil. <laughs> That's how my nephew used to say, the devil. Um, there will be a reunion. The devil is them feeling attached to you. Let's clarify. Clarify the devil. There could be still coping negatively. I mean, the, the Three of Cups next to the Devil and the Queen of Wands. Too many cards. But this is such a positive card. I mean, does it trump the Devil, though? Three of Cups? Mm, the Devil's a major arcana. <clears throat> Give me a second. I need some more insight. I mean, the devil doesn't necessarily have to be negative, but I wish it was being clarified with another major arcana. But give me a sec. The devil, bondage, obsession, materialism, temptation, shadow, fear, di fear doubt, lies, de deviancy, ignorance, sexuality, hopelessness, lack of options, trap, scapegoat, abuse, addictions, violence, evil, we weakness, attachment, breaking free. Um... Recl yeah, somebody is going to reclaim their power and break free of this attachment. Let's prove it. Let's clarify. I want to clarify the devil and the queen of wands together. It's a lot of cards. King of pentacles. Remember it first came out in reverse and it came out again. Actually, when I was shuffling, six of cups. Okay, so six of swords and a three of wands is someone turning back around, someone realizing they made a mistake and they want to come back and make things right. Okay. Well, opening up, releasing the fear, right? Page of swords, speaking your truth, hierophant. That's the wisdom that was gained during the enlightening process. The, and there is the new beginning, Wheel of Fortune in the Upright. There we go. And remember, it came out um, earlier. So there we go. There will be a new beginning here. I can't tell you to wait for this person, but I feel like divine timing is at place. play. And it's not really about waiting on this person. It's about this person not giving up on them on their selves. So that could be what I was picking up. They're about to give up. But I'm, I'm saying to you, don't give up. If this is about you and not about anybody else, don't give up on yourself. Keep working at it. The strength card is there to show you that you do have the strength to heal. Okay? And whoever you're dealing with may have already detached from you with the Queen of Swords energy. 
but this is about you not meaning to worry about that work on yourself and when you're ready to speak you will come towards this person and this person will be able to see that you have changed okay i can't make this shit up and it flipped i can't make this shit up straight that confirms the message <laughs> okay self-love once you love yourself you can give your love to somebody else but there is a new beginning Divinely, I'm being divinely orchestrated by the divine door to spirit, the sun, angel of love. I'm telling you, you guys, let me pick, let me get an oracle message. I'm excited. Wow. Okay. Let me get an oracle message. <clears throat> let me organize myself, get all this stuff off the table. Wow, you guys, that was, that was intense. I feel hungry. <laughs> if you're a reader, you know what I'm talking about. When you get drained, you get hungry. I'm using the Angels of Abundance or for that by Doreen Virtue. I got to put my Amazon links down there, my affiliate links, so that you can get these cards and also support me at the same time. Spirit, please give me a divine message for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury, Jupiter, North Node. Visualize abundance in all forms. God gave you such spiritual power that everything you visualize eventually becomes reality. Hold a steady vision of that which is beautiful, helpful, positive, and filled with blessings, and that is what you will experience. Visualization. This is a law of attraction. You want to attract um, what you want, you need to visualize it in the way you want it, okay? Not being so fixated on what didn't go right. Be fixated on what you want to happen. Successful funding. I did see that there were some money issues with the King of Pentacles in reverse and the lack of stability with the Root Chakra card being presented in the reverse. So this is your idea is divinely guided and supported by the same infinite wisdom of God that gave you the idea. Do not allow money concerns to prevent you from turning it into reality. Crowdfunding partnerships and other investments are available to help you. So if you're experiencing any financial difficulties... Um, that may be preventing you from coming towards someone feeling like you're not able to provide them with any stability. Um, maybe you don't feel like you have enough money. This is bothering me, by the way. I don't know how that got ripped. Um, don't worry because Spirit is saying that um, they gave you the idea and don't let money stop you from pursuing that idea. And if the idea is you wanted to be with someone and you're not feeling like you have enough money to have this person, don't let that stop you, Okay. That is your reading, Aquarius. I hope it resonated. Please comment. Please like. Please subscribe to my channel. I'm excited for you guys. You guys are going through a major healing process. I felt it. It is taking all of your strength. So please rest up. I did see the rest card. I should have said that. There it is. Rest and rejuvenation. You got a lot of work to do to get your finances back in order, but you need to take the time out to rest. Okay. You need to take the time out to damn, I can't even read that. rest and rejuvenation. Okay. Because this is, is, this is taking a lot of out of you, this, this healing, but it's worth it. What's kind of come out of this healing. Oh, it's going to be beyond your wildest dream and it's wildest dreams. And it's going to be real love, a love of self and a love from somebody else that is going to match. Like it's going to be a harmonizing, um, healing type of love. The, the straight card is about forgiveness too. So forgive the past, forgive yourself. And that, that forgiveness is going to allow you and propel you to move forward. Um, on the right path. The spiritual door to spirit is getting on the alignment to the right path. Okay. Oh, thank you. That is your reading. Bye.